Sometimes you may want to use primarily the standard AutoCAD CUI, but to add adjuncts to it, things that come to mind are things like specific discipline add-ins for civil or electrical or perhaps architectural users. So how could you do that without going in and having to perform radical surgery on the ACAD CUI file itself? Well, the answer to that is partial CUIs. In order to have a look at this, we'll simply key in the CUI command and have a look at the editor here. This is the default ACAD CUI, which will load in certain partial customization files by default, things like express tools, other things that, that are loaded in, and these will vary depending on what version of AutoCAD that you're looking at. So in my particular case, I have a, a couple of legacy menus that I'd like to bring over for some civil users. And these civil users are more used to the AutoCAD classic workspace type of pop-down interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over those civil elements, and then I'm going to put them in this workspace so that my civil users can use this workspace with some tools that they're already accustomed to. Here's how I'll do that. First, I have to know where the civil CUI file is, and I've located that in a network directory off of my X drive. So I'll navigate my way down here to the partial customization, right click on that, and say load partial customize file. I navigate over here to my X drive where I've got my CUI file stored, and I'll select the civil one. That will open up. In fact, it will show you here. And what we'll see is there, there's very little going on here, just some very basic menus, a couple of very basic ribbon tabs. That's it. Now what I'll do is select here to show all customization files. Now we're back to the top level view where the ACAD CUI file is dominant and the partial menus are loaded down here. We'll now see civil has been appended onto the end of that list as it was loaded. So now if you'll recall, I wanted to add the menus that came from here into the AutoCAD Classic workspace up here. So I'll now scroll back up, select the AutoCAD Classic workspace, use the Customize Workspace button here. Now I'll scroll down here into the list of partial customization files, and I'll make sure that these menus are in fact turned on. And they are. Then I'll select Done here, and that will have been appended to the AutoCAD Classic workspace here. What I'll go ahead and do is apply my changes, and then I'll make sure to set this, the AutoCAD Classic, as the current workspace. That way when we exit, we'll be able to see the results of our edit. OK to exit the CUI editor. And sure enough, what we see is something up here that indicates the AutoCAD Classic workspace as being our current workspace. We notice that everything about it looks as we would expect it to look, except we've now got an additional civil pull-down menu here, which brings in some of these tools that my civil users were used to before. That's all there is to it. Partial CUI loading is a very effective way to break things apart and keep your CUI file components separated so you don't have to go in and perform surgery on the ACAD CUI file. You can leave it alone and just add your changes in with several outboard files, loading them partially. Good luck.